Okay, uh, let's uh, create a hollow cross section appropriate for our structure. But uh, firstly, let's make another uh, layer. Let's call it uh, 2D solid. It's for viewing uh, uh, the uh, drawing. And let's make this. Uh, Drawing which we will uh, we'll be doing uh, right now on this uh, layer. Uh, let's uh, be 10 by 10 centimeters. Uh, let's use offset also. Geometry. Then we are, have two regions right now. Let's click on the view cube on top. Then now we can use uh, easily a subtraction of the solids. Let's use the external one first. You choose the external one first and then the internal one and uh, subtract one from the other. Then you can see we have it already. The most difficult part of uh, doing uh, this will be the bars uh, and the plus. So let's start from them. Uh, let's uh, paint a diagonal. Let's draw a diagonal. And uh, then it's easy to find the uh, center of the line uh, of the geometry. And let's move it uh, directly to the some node of the truss. Also, if you are interested, there is uh, something which may be interesting uh, for you. By clicking um, here, uh, you see um, the possibilities of uh, geometries to which you can uh, attach. So uh, there is endpoint, midpoint, and uh, from the midpoint uh, we were just using. And we uh, we unmark this. So we will not be able to catch in geometry the the things. Okay, but uh, let's uh, go back to the three D modeling. Let's use three D fit. Let's unmark uh, firstly the axis. We are looking for uh, this uh, axis, and let's uh, mark uh, already the the point on the bar. And uh, we see that we do um, rotation, but uh, uh, it's longitudinal to the bar, so we have to one more time, uh, one more time rotate it uh, by ninety degrees. So three rotate one plus type uh, by, uh, from keyboard ninety degrees. The bar has been. But uh, now let's extrude it and uh, elongate it to the, I think even more than it uh, should be, it will be um, better for us. Mm, okay. Mm, yeah. Um, this is how to do the bar. Uh, I will just quickly show you. Um, because you made a bar, so it will be easy to you to make a column and uh, a beam. So I will just show you how to slice this bar to the axis we want. We click on the slice, we mark the object, and for example, right now we know that we want uh, we can use the x y plane uh, to slice it. Uh, so uh, we click uh, x y on the options, and then we just need the point of xy plane which will be uh, cutting the uh, object and then we accept it with the uh, with the enter button and then we have uh, sliced the geometry to xy plane uh, with the base point at the edge the same we can do with uh, uh, the yz mm option and uh, you see that uh, it's very nice done uh, 
uh, bar.